Despite their image of being squeaky clean, modern, and prosperous, the cities of the Northwest are full of teen runaways and street kids, some of whom end up as rent boys. One of America's most respected independent filmmakers, Gus Van Sant, was inspired by the Northwest rent boy scene to make the film My Own Private Idaho. It's about the life of male prostitutes as seen through the rose-tinted eyes of Hollywood pretty boys River Phoenix and Keanu Reeves. Hey, Mikey. How long have I been here on the streets, on this crusade? Oh, well, I came back to town around three and a half years ago, and that's when I met you, so it's, it's, been, it's been three years, Mike. Yeah. In the film, My Own Private Idaho, we tended to just use the, the character's job of hustling as just a sort of socioeconomic uh, strata, you know, like one character coming from a broken home, one character running away from a, a functional yet dysfunctional family. Just the whole uh, subject of prostitution, I think, has always been titillating for, for people that aren't uh, part of that society or part of that situation. You know, they find it fascinating. The film was based in part on the experiences of friend and former rent boy, Michael Parker. My friend Chris introduced me to Gus. And at that time, I didn't have a place to live. So um, I was willing to do anything. I was willing to work or do whatever. And he was nice enough to put me up for a while. And that's, that's how I met him. I guess I was kind of in a, on a search, you know. I don't know what for, love or acceptance or, or uh, whatever. And I, and I found that somewhat on the street. And, and for a while, it was kind of glamorous, even though I had nothing and I had to worry about a place to stay and I had to worry about something to eat. There was still the glamorous side because there were people who, who wanted, you know, who, who wanted to pay money to be close to me or people who, who just wanted to talk to me, you know, not even necessarily sleep with me or date me. Two local rent boys, Troy and Lewis, told us about their own private Seattle. The first time I pulled a trick was when I was 18. Um, I got kicked out of my house. I was homeless, so I had to find a way to put a roof over my head and eat. I'd seen a couple people down on, on, uh, down on the street turning tricks. It looked pretty easy. thought it was kind of easy money. I was living at home at the time. And I mean, I just kind of did it for fun. And uh, that was when I was 18. I'm 23 now. When I started, Payments were $40 for a blowjob and $150 for a fuck. But now it's $20 for a blowjob and sometimes $30 for a fuck. It's just, there's so many of us in there looking for the cheaper person. Actually, tricking does help sex life quite well because when you're with somebody, you're feeling their fantasy. And then you can turn around and have your own right there and then. I've learned a lot more things to do. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of one of the, one of the perks, one of the very few perks, actually, of it. Since Troy and Lewis are homeless, they often spend the night here in a gay bathhouse. Most gay bathhouses have been closed across America because of the AIDS epidemic. But here in downtown Seattle, there are several of them still in operation. We have a public steam room, public dry room, public shower, swimming pool, during the week, you get 12 hours for $11. People come here for two things. They either come to enjoy themselves or to sleep. It's a place of pleasure. I'm pretty sure that I contracted the HIV virus when I was turning tricks. That's one of the health risks. And even though that, uh, I mean, I worry about other people because I don't want to pass it on to them, but I still do it. I'm still down there every once in a while. I'm HIV positive. And that's something I worry about. And I don't know where I got it or who I got it from or when I got it, but I have it. So that's something I have to deal with and look at every time I'm down there. Because every time I go down there, I have at least six or seven condoms with me. And I use them.